little over a year ago, we put up a video talking about how we season our pans, our stainless steel pans, in fact. And we've now had over a year of actually cooking on these pans. And at the same time, we've received uh, quite a few comments about how we don't have to season the pans and it's not required. And some people even said that it's uh, detrimental. So we were at a quandary. We wanted to, f we knew, for example, that it was working. Eggs and everything else aren't, nothing sticking to the pan. So as you can see, we've got this stainless steel pan. We've also got this stainless steel pan here. And for the first time, as I mentioned in the year ago video, they've actually been used because we can now use them without things sticking to them. So we know they've been working. And at the same time, we've gotten a lot of comments about how it's unnecessary. So we were kind of curious, what was actually happening? So we decided we we're going to investigate. And what we ended up doing is that we spent a little money and we went out and got ourselves a microscope one that we can use to actually film with. I think the results, well, were pretty amazing to us. So what we wanted to do is take a look under the microscope what this pan looks like without the seasoning, without this polymerization right here that you can see. And the results were pretty amazing. Stick around, we'll show them to you in a moment. Before we actually get to the pan, we're going to zoom in on a U.S. nickel. And right here, you can see Jefferson clearly on this relatively new Liberty 2016 nickel. We want you to take a look at his nose. Right at the tip of his nose, you're going to notice a blemish. We're going to zoom in on that blemish. We started at about uh, very low magnification. Right now, we're approaching, I think it's approximately 60 times magnification. You can see the blemish on the tip of his nose, as well as his cheek right there. Kind of gives you an idea of uh, how much we're zooming in. Now we're going to be zooming in on Liberty in 2016. Right now, we're at about 60 times magnification. And right here, we're at 250 times magnification. Notice how relatively smooth and blemish free and there are no grooves, there are no imperfections on it and the pan in contrast. And now there's the pan. On the right hand side you could see the black polymerized surface. On the left hand side you could see the raw metal, the stainless steel. You could see the cross hatching. Also in the top left you can see a little bit of fresh polymerization going on there or starting a new patina where we scratched it off with the spatula. Now I'm zooming out just a little bit, same surface. Here we're going to take another look at the same pan uh, and the sawtooth and now we're going to move in and zoom in right there on that sawtooth pattern without moving the camera. Now the lighting changed a little bit. Right here, what we've done is that we focused on a little bit of that polymerized surface and we've really intensified the lighting to kind of overdrive it so that you could see that crystalline structure in it. Uh, at the same time, I want you to notice there are no deep gouges, there are no deep scratches, uh, and a little bit of that blackness that you can see, as best we can tell, is a little bit of pitting. Uh, so surface that used to have a void now is being filled with fresh oil as we, you know, create new uh, patina in that area. Notice that uh, that surface right here is relatively flat and it's smooth. I don't know how else to put it. Right here, we're starting a video and we're going to be adjusting, we're not going to be moving the focus of the camera, we're just going to be adjusting the light up and down so that you could kind of get an idea or a shift between uh, the metal being in focus and then the polymerized surface in focus. And then we're going to bring the light back down again so you could see the difference between the two. Again, 
the black on top is relatively smooth compared to the stainless steel that's on the bottom with all the cross hatching and the patterns. And now we're going to be fading out here in just a moment. Again, you can see all those deep scratches. And we're filming at this point at 250 times. Also, as you can see, the patina tends to come off the stainless steel a whole lot easier than it does off the cast iron. Obviously, the cast iron is a little rougher surface, a little more porous, so it has the patina has more to grab onto than it does on a stainless steel, but it does stay there. It, and we use the spatula quite aggressively on the stainless steel here, the steel spatula. And uh, occasionally it will take off some of the patina, but no big deal. We just put it back on by seasoning a little more oil back onto it again. In the process of making this video, we also determined that there's a significant difference in drag between this raw metal and the polymerized pan. And it turns out that when you close your eyes and you move your finger between the two, you'll find out that there's less drag on the dark polymerized section than there is on the metal, on the raw metal. So I kind of thought that that was pretty interesting also. So as you were able to see in the previous stills as well as microscopic video, the pans, the metal, the stainless steel is not smooth. They may not be microscopic pores, kind of like cast iron has, but there's certainly gouges and there's certainly imperfections in the stainless steel. What I think may be happening is that that oil that's been polymerized right here creates a smoother surface than the micro scratches that are in the metal. Either way, we're just happy that it works. For years, we've been waiting for these pans to get into the game and finally they're in the game and they've been working for well over a year now. We use them nearly daily and we've actually introduced the same method to this all aluminum pan and it too is now nearly non-stick. Just like our cast irons and just like our stainless steel pans and just like the rest of the pans. We hope that you found this video interesting and worth your while. And if you haven't seen our cast iron seasoning video, check it out. The link will be in the description down and down below.